Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to properly use a compound light microscope. First, retrieve your microscope. Uh, make sure to grab it by the arm up here and the base below. Place it on your table with the ocular or eyepiece pointed towards you. Notice you have a dust cover. Go ahead and remove the dust cover. Place it aside. Okay, and you want to you want to get the light to work, so you're going to go ahead and uncoil this plug and plug it in. All right, to switch on the light, you want to make sure that the cord is all the way in. You're going to you're going to see the light shine through this condenser, so go ahead and switch on the light. If you don't see the light through the condenser, go ahead and turn this dial. This will adjust the gain on the light bulb. And by turning it right, you will eventually see the light through the condenser. All right, so now you've got the microscope on. You want to make sure that this stage where the specimen's going to sit, you want to make sure that that stage is all the way down. So you're going to turn this knob, the course adjustment knob, and you're going to turn it until the stage goes all the way down. You always want to start that way. All right, also notice these. These are objective lenses. Each one magnifies the sample. All right, and this they rotate around. This is the 4x or scanner objective lens. This is the 10x or low power, 40x high power, and the 100x oil immersion lens. You want the 4x scanner to be engaged always. When you when you start the microscope, you want that to be in the light path. All right, these right here, these are the oculars or eyepieces, and they also magnify the image. See, it says right here, 10x. And you kind of want these to line up with your eyes. So you can squeeze them or push them apart so that they actually line up with your eyes. Here. I'm trying to get them to line up with my eyes. And much like you would a binocular, you'll adjust this. And you should see a round field of view. Nice. Go ahead and retrieve your specimen. And this is a prepared slide. Notice that there's already a label on there and a cover slip. You want everything to be pointing up. Go ahead and place the slide on the stage, this platform here, with everything, the cover slip and everything pointed up. Depress this clip and push the slide into place, let go of the clip, and you're good to go. Notice that the specimen isn't necessarily in the light path right now, so you want to you want to correct for this. And how do you get the specimen in the light path? You're going to use these two dials. You turn the top dial, notice how the slide's moving towards you, away from you, and the bottom dial's left and right. Again, you want the uh, specimen to be right in the light's path, otherwise you're not going to see it when you try to focus the microscope. The microscope's not in focus until you grab this course adjustment knob, look through the lens, make sure you're on the 4x scanning objective, the small ob objective, and then you're going to turn until something comes into focus. This is me getting stuff into focus. I'm looking through the microscope, I'm turning the course adjustment knob, and there I go. When I turn that course adjustment knob, eventually something will come into focus like this. Nice. So just a quick rundown. This this little lever here, in case you're wondering, is called the iris. It's a diaph diaphragm and it limits the light that goes through the condenser. You can see here that it adjusts the light and if you turn it dim, it actually increases contrast. This large lens here is the condenser itself. It could be lowered or raised. And the condenser focuses a cone of light onto your specimen. Here I'm messing around with the condenser and looking in the microscope. You can see it can kind of turn things gray. All right, so 
I'm looking through my microscope and now I can go to the 10x objective lens. And when I do that, I only want to use the fine focus to get things back in focus because our microscopes are parfocal, meaning once you got stuff in focus on the 4x, it's going to be nearly in focus on the other objectives. Now look what happened here. I zoomed in from 4x to 10x and my sample disappeared. What do you think happened? Well, when I zoomed back out, I noticed that my sample was too high. Always center your sample before you zoom in. Okay, remember how to do that? You got these two dials that move the sample around. So again, make sure the sample that you're looking at on lower power is right in the middle. See, not too high, not too low not too far to the left, not too far to the right. Make sure the sample's right in the middle before you zoom in. So when you zoom in, it will still be right there in your field of view. And remember, every time you zoom in, you only need to adjust the fine focus knob, not the thicker coarse adjustment knob. So now it's on focus on the 40x objective. You're ready for oil. But to get to oil, you're gonna need this lens uh, this uh, immersion oil. It has the same refractive index as glass. So you're going to lower reflection and refraction of light. So look, you're going to go past the 40. You're going to place one drop of this oil directly on the slide. And then you're going to engage the 100x objective. You could go a little bit past the slide and then back. Now look at this, if you're in focus, the 100x objective will be touching the oil and the oil is touching the cover slip. And when you have that oil on there, you're going to get a really crisp, sharp focus on your specimen. What you don't want to do is try to go back to the 40. See, that would hit the oil. And that's a problem because the 40x objective is actually not designed to encounter oil. You can go to 4x or 10x because they won't touch the oil. And you can go to 100x. But you can't go back to 40x. 40x is not meant to touch oil. So now you're done. Go ahead and go back to the 4x objective. Slide your, you, your prepared slide out. Remember, you got oil on there. So we're going to clean this up. Just take it over. Grab some uh, Kim wipes. You don't need lens paper for this. You just need Kim wipes. Wipe it up. You could use some of uh, this uh, lens cleaning solution. Okay, but with the other objectives, remember they all need to be cleaned too. All these objectives need to be cleaned, especially the 100X that got oil on there. So to do that, you're going to need optical lens wipes to wipe the lenses. Make sure you don't use Kim wipes for lenses. So go ahead and tear out a you know, sheet or two of this optical lens wipe. Okay, fold it up. Get a little bit of your lens cleaning solution. Put a couple drops on there. And what I like to do is start with the lowest objective lens, 4x. Never hurts to clean these. 10x. All right, next to the 40, which, by the way, shouldn't encounter oil. Remember that the 40X should never come into contact with oil, but you're going to wipe it anyway just to be extra sure that it doesn't have any oil. And then the 100X, remember, you did get oil on there. You definitely got oil on there, so you're going to clean this extra good. Good. Nice. And you want the 4x objective in the light path when you're done. Always engage the 4x. Make sure the stage is all the way down. Turn off the light. Unplug the microscope. Time to coil it up. Don't forget your dust cover.
grab the microscope, remember, from the arm up here and the base below. That's the safe way to grab the microscope. And the proper way to put it away, remember, is with the ocular, the eyepiece, pointing away. Notice how the eyepiece is away. I place it carefully, close the cabinet, and I'm done. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment or question below, and I'll be sure to post more like it. Thanks again.